Hello everyone, I'm Upgrade Guy, and welcome to our channel, Wondershare Repair It, a professional software designed to fix both corrupted videos and photos with its easy to use interface. In today's video, we'll be talking about how you can easily fix server execution failures in Windows Media Player. Sometimes when you close Windows Media Player, and immediately open another WMP file, the server execution failed error may appear. Fortunately, we've discovered the most effective options for you to fix this. But before we go any further, make sure you go down below in the description and smash that subscribe button, and also give this video a big thumbs up. We're always looking to add new videos to help you out with all your video and photo needs. I would also love for you to comment down below what issues you've had in the past with Windows Media Player so we can try to find a solution and make a video for that problem. So let's go ahead and get into how to solve this server execution error for Windows Media Player. Now coming back to Windows Media Player, as we all know, it's the default player for Windows 10 and is one of Microsoft's most popular software. Although it's usually bug-free, well, unless your particular file isn't supported by it, many users have reported getting the server execution failed error pop-up when trying to play media with Windows Media Player. So let's go ahead and get into the perfect solution for this error. When you try to play video with Windows Media Player, you get a pop-up that says server execution failed. Now, don't be concerned. We have a variety of strategies that can help you fix this problem in a variety of different situations. Now, there are times when you try to close the media player, subsequently opening another file. Now, this is where you can see the server execution failed error typically pop up. However, you discover that the primary software process continues to run even after the media player UI has closed. Now let's look at several solutions for fixing the server execution failed error. Using Universal Plug and Play, the WMP network allows you to share Windows Media Player libraries with other networked players and devices. We'll turn this off for now because you aren't connected to the internet and you only want to listen to music. So how will you do that? So to do that, first you need to press Windows plus R to open the run box. Now that you're there, you have to type services.msc and press enter to open the services. Now you need to search Windows Media Player Network Sharing Service and right click on it to go for the stop option. Well, that's not the end. The next step that you need to follow is to again double click on Windows Media Player Network Sharing Service and select properties. At that time, a box will appear on screen where you need to find the startup type option and disable that again. After setting up everything, just click apply and then okay. Well, to test whether the server execution problem has been resolved, close services and then try to play a media file using Windows Media Player. Just so you remember, if the server execution failed error persists, try again with the start type set to automatic and the start button pressed. This could perhaps solve the problem, but if that doesn't save your day, the second method just might. Exiting all instances of Windows Media Player and then resuming it may resolve the issue. At this time, to avoid the server execution failed error, all you need to do is First, open the task manager by clicking on CTRL plus shift 
plus escape all at the same time. Then all you need to do is right click on Windows Media Player and select the End Task option. Well, the Task Manager can help you solve the issue with WMP Server Execution Fail. However, sometimes a technical coding or command prompt can help you. Open up your taskbar's search function by clicking in the bottom left or holding down the critical S key at the same time. From here, type in command prompt. And then you want to right click and select run as administrator. Allow the program to launch with administrator permissions when requested by the user account control. Enter the two commands below and to run them, press enter on your keypad after each line. After doing all these steps, make sure to check if the error in Windows Media Player persists after restarting your computer. However, if you're still running Windows 7 or Vista, then we suggest checking out method number four. Now this uses Windows own diagnostic tool to help solve the server execution fail error. In earlier versions of Windows, you did have Microsoft Easy Fix It, which solved the server execution error problem. However, with that not available in the newest version of Windows, we now have a video playback troubleshooter to help solve this issue. To do the video playback troubleshooter, you need to first go to the settings and then to the Windows Update and Security. There you will get an option called Troubleshoot, and below it is the video playback. As you can see in the video, video playback has the option called Run the Troubleshoot. This method, to some extent, can help solve the server execution fail error completely in Windows 10 and other Windows versions. However, the simpler method could be just to use a VPN to completely solve the problem for good. Now coming to the next method, a VPN. Sometimes the server you're on might freeze, causing the server execution failed error to pop up. In order to avoid the possibility of this happening, it's great to have a VPN as a reliable backup if you're having bad internet connectivity. Now it's very likely the VPN did just solve your problem for Windows 10. But although Windows Media Player is a great media player for Windows 10, there's still problems that can occur with the actual video file itself. Damaged or corrupt files, viruses, electromagnetic interference, all these things can help actually damage the video file, which in turn can cause the server execution failed error. If your video file is corrupted and you can't play it in Windows Media Player, you may need some sort of video repair software. Now I have found Wondershare Repair It to be by far the best video repair software that you can get for this sort of issue. And it will quickly help to cure any issues you're having playing your media on Windows Media Player or other media player platforms. Wondershare Repair It can help you fix your corrupted video files and as well help you fix your corrupted photos. One of the biggest benefits of Wondershare Repair It is that while you're fixing a corrupted video, you can also fix a corrupted video of a different format at the exact same time. There really is no restriction to the type of video files that can be repaired with Wondershare Repair It. And on top of that, I can't believe how easy the interface is to use. This method works for both experienced and beginner computer users. This problem should be solved by activating hardware acceleration in your new machine and turning it off in your old one. 
Enabling hardware acceleration on any old computer can cause it to run a lot slower. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is go down below in the description and click on the link so you can go and install Wondershare Repair It completely for free. From there, I'm going to walk you through the process of repairing a video. You're going to first click the add button right here. From here, you're going to select which video you would like to repair. I'm going to find one right in here for me, and I'm going to go to one of these videos. Now, once it's starting to upload, you're just going to wait a few seconds. You'll see a preview on the screen of the video or videos that you selected. Once you're satisfied that you have all your videos uploaded right here, you're going to press that repair button. Now, once it's done repairing your videos, you can press OK, and then you can preview your repaired video right over here. Once you're satisfied that it has repaired your video, you can go ahead and press save in order to have your video on your computer again. With that being said, it's always better to prevent these issues before they even happen. So coming up, we're going to give you some useful tips to fix tons of issues with Windows Media Player. Although critical updates aren't responsible for security-related vulnerabilities, they can affect the overall performance and stability of Windows. The primary goal of installing Windows updates is to solve any faults that are built inside of the Windows 10 operating system. By doing this, you have a better chance of solving issues like the server execution fail issue in Windows Media Player. The audio driver is a component of the computer's nervous system that converts software into a format that can be played out of the computer's speakers. So if you have the server execution failed error, it's really recommended that you check the sound drivers and make sure they're updated on a regular basis. To avoid getting the server execution failed error, it's always best to make sure your video file is supported on your computer or with that media player. As well, we suggest not making the mistake of trying to convert your video file to another one. Although this can solve the problem in some rare instances, it can also further corrupt your video file and cause other issues. You also might face issues if the video is not supported by the codecs used to compress the file. The codecs can be downloaded from the Windows Media Player settings in order to solve this issue. This can also help solve that Windows Media Player server execution failed error in some instances. Well, the methods we showed you in this video should help you solve that server execution failed error anytime you get it. On top of that, it's highly recommended that you download Wondershare Repair It completely for free anytime you have issues with videos or photos that are corrupted and need to be repaired. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video today. Do not forget to comment down below if you have any other issues related to this area, whether that's corrupted video, Windows Media Player, or anything else you can think of. As well, don't forget to smash that subscribe button before you leave and give this video a big thumbs up. I'm Upgrade Guy, and I will see you in the next video.